Should I get a haircut? I mean, this is just like... <sighs> Leave a comment down below if maybe you think I should trim this up a little bit. It's just get... Ah, forget it. What is going on you guys? My name is Hugh and welcome to part 2 or episode 2 of Project Betty. Basically this is going to be a little bit of a shorter video. So in this mini mods episode is changing some lights and adding some lights to the car and I've also installed a brand new wing for the car. I won't ramble too much this time uh, for the introduction. I mean literally what I just said. I'm adding lights and subtracting lights and putting a wing on the car. Kind of gives you an idea of how this episode is going to go. It's self-explanatory. Like before, in the first episode, every part that I've added to the car is going to be in the description below, so you can Google it yourself, you get a good price range for it. Um, for the lighting stuff, you can you can select the color that you want, or just use the same stuff that I use. Without further ado, I'm going to let the past me do the explanation and the installing for you guys. We're going to start off with the lighting first, and then we'll move to the D-Wing. So strap right in and enjoy this episode. I hope you guys can hear me with the stupid wee whacker back there. Basically, all I had to do with this is a, it's a bunch of different things. So I took a screwdriver to get, you know, inside here because it's basically a clamp holding these in. It's really not that hard. You take a screwdriver or, or flathead or something and just kind of go back here, chink, chink, and they just clip off pretty much. So then basically what you do from here, what you do from here is you undo this, but you twist it, I believe. This just hooks up right into it, so. Not bad. I like that as opposed to the warm light that was on here. You guys know what the warm light is. It's like this in the background. See my hand is? It looks like that color as opposed to this nice white color. Like I said, I'll still keep the stock stuff. You know me, I always keep my stock uh, parts and everything just in case if, everything go if anything goes wrong, I always have a backup. But that looks really nice. So much cleaner too. All right, so let's give those uh, interior lights a try now that we got these in. All right, so it took me about two hours. I'm just setting it up so I can kind of get an idea of how it's gonna look and everything. So I got it running underneath the clusters here. It's inside these. I was able to figure out, ouch. I was able to figure out how to get them in there. But it still gives me an idea of how I can design it. See, it's not fully in there all the way. I'm wondering if I can get any of these buttons to work. So on, off, on, off. These buttons here have no purpose. There's nothing there. So if you guys have an idea of how I can do it, great. Leave, leave a comment down below. I'd love to learn and see how I can figure all this stuff out and connect it to the ECU. So when I turn my strip lights on here, these should light on too instead of me having to unplug it down here. So if you guys know how to do something like that, or if you know somebody who has figured it out before, feel free to help me out. For the most part, it looks pretty good actually. Before we get started on the wing, I do have an announcement to make. I wanna make a shout out to two people, Japanese Muscle Official and also Foreign Fury. They are gonna be the sponsors of this project as well as my Instagram for 20 Second CC. Also, go check out their merch store. They got some pretty dope stuff on there. Go give them the love and support you guys have been giving me on the project build and on my Instagram. This is super exciting news, guys. This is my very first sponsorship. Let's make it happen. 
and get cracking on this wing. So I went ahead and already took the wing off. Uh, this was a very hard process, so it was kind of boring to film on camera. So basically all you have to do is pry the stock wing off. There is gonna be these little snap bits here, so don't worry about breaking anything. The only thing that's holding this stock wing on is this little plastic thing. I think there's one there and there. Also, it is gonna be stuck to the, to the panel here. So it's gonna be glued, 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 blah, blah, blah. It's not a very hard process, but just keep in mind, you're not gonna break anything. You do need a crowbar. It could be metal or plastic, and all you do is just get in here, chunk, and pop it off. So as you can see, this is the old wing, and then this is the brand new wing. This is painted already. However, I am gonna paint it up uh, later on in the future. I just wanna make sure the fitment is good. It's not, this won't hit the sides of the panel and the car. Yeah, I'm just excited to see what it looks like, man. So you do need to go out and get your own screws. Uh, since that wing does not have screws already built into it like the stock wing will, this will just screw right into the wing itself. Now, you do need these screws. Let me see if I can give you a size. Okay, so these are the sizes of the... So, blah, blah, blah. so these are the size of the screws. It's a 6-1 times 20 millimeter bolt, but just remember that number. You got it? Okay. Okay, so first of all, uh, before you even do anything, you need to take these little bolts off so that you can get this plastic panel out of the way. This way you can just snap the rear tail light on right in there. So let's do that first. So several hours later, uh, I figured out a way to get it on. I think I had an issue with my tail light, and I'll show you what I'm talking about here. So this tail light that's supposed to go in that wing behind me, that, I'm not saying it's a bad design, I'm saying basically what I'm trying to say is that the screw holes on the wing don't match up the ones that belong to my stock. <laughs> don't line up with the tail light from the stock wing on the car. That's literally the only problem I had. Therefore, I couldn't roll without a strip light, which is fine. As long as the wing still looks good and it fits the car, I'm not gonna complain about anything else. Wing looks great. Let's get back to the video. Now, if you're wondering what kind of wing this is, this is called the D-Style Wing. Just look up that and you'll find a bunch of these for the turbo and for the normal uh, Veloster, like the base model. There's only a few videos of how to install this kind of wing. So I wanna kinda of go over how I did it and everything. And also uh, what the obstacles will be trying to get it on. So if I just pop it in the trunk. You can see in here, all I did was, oh my goodness, I can't work a camera apparently. So the piece that was in here was just a piece of plastic that all I did was just use that little uh, crowbar that I showed you and I just kind of <coughs> popped it off. I did break these two little bits here but they are plastic and there's only two left that work on it which is funny. There's one, two, but I couldn't get a screw in there because it was too tight. It wouldn't fit inside the hole there. Three, four, five, six. Yeah, there's seven of these screws in here. Now remember that number? What was it? Uh, Mike, can you put up the number for me, please? See that number? That number right there is what you need to remember because that's the exact same screw size that I used. And I used some washers, actually. It's hard to do if you only have one guy, but if you have two guys, it makes it easier. So you have one guy holding this and one guy screwing it in. But since I'm all by myself this time and Xander's not here with me, um, I was able to just do it by myself and hold the wing with one hand and screw, screw in the bolt with the other one. I forgot to update you guys on the lights here. As you can see, I came up with a way better idea and I put it around the clusters here and then it goes down in here where the steering wheel thing is, you know, back behind the steering wheel piece. It goes around here and then it goes underneath, underneath the dashboard, which actually leaves a little bit of underglow light. Not bright, but it's, it's fine because I don't want it to be bright, but it is very dim. So if I turn the lights off here, I'll show you. So if you come down here, you can kind of see it on the camera. 
It's a very, very, very dim underglow light. It's not really super bright, which is fine, because all I did was just tuck the rest of the wiring from the strip light underneath the plastic piece here. It looks really good, man. Just very subtle light strips. It's nothing crazy. That red thing, if you're curious, at the bottom of the screen, that's actually just a phone charger. Now, if I go on the passenger side, same thing, but it's, all you see is just the strip light going underneath the plastic of the dash. Definitely try these strips out. This is how you would set it up. Everything is in the link in the description below if you guys want to check them out. But yeah, this is, uh, this is actually very beautiful to look at every time I drive home at night. So I hope you guys enjoyed the second episode. Be sure to like and subscribe and go check out everybody else in the description below. You guys have an awesome rest of the week and I'll see you goons later. Uh -huh.